I thought I'd open up this old beast to see what's inside. It's been stuck on the side of our house for years. We never use it, never have. So it's a Zinwell. Mm. Sky 4 LSA blah 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 but uh, yeah so you can see it's got this nasty little cover here push that in and that exposes your little satellite cables and there they are look standard cables for satellite connections and other aerials so that's quite cool and then what are these ones similar again I think Slightly different connector on them. Holding up really well, considering they've been up on that uh, side of that wall for uh, 10 years, maybe. Yeah, okay, so it looks like it's all fairly nicely preserved inside. There we go. Standard connector and it comes with a nifty little level bubble ah, can I get it in the middle yep yeah, there we go just so you can align it correctly a uh, little weird natty thing there not sure what that's doing not very much as you can see all it does is seem to just rotate but what I wanted to see was inside this bit here it got on there. Well, oh, that's a bit gross. Uh, it's got numbers one, two, three, four, five on it. Sky two, and then just a regular reflector. It's held up well though. Not much rust at all. So it's, uh, some of them you see that rust away terribly and they look ugly, but these have done all right. This is the other end of the cables. They were snipped a long time ago. Standard bracket went into the wall. That's held up pretty well as well. So let's get a screwdriver, open that up, and then see what's and see what's in here. So as you can see, I've got the module open. It all comes away, it unclips nicely from the main dish. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything obvious, so it's going to be a destructive open for this one. So I'll have at it, got the gloves on, and we'll see what's inside. Let's just see if anything prizes off first. Brutal. Ooh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tougher than I thought. There's that sleeve thing that hides the connectors. There we go. Aha, you are in. Ooh. Oh, it's just a big lump of metal. I suppose that makes sense, because you want it to be weatherproof. Some spider eggs, possibly, there, or some sort of web thing. Uh, so not much to see. It's all potted. So, yeah, fully waterproof. I want this off at the end, though. So is that going to come off nicely, or is that going to be a pig? Oh, no, it's coming. Whoa. I was not expecting that. That's random. Okay, so this is obviously just... must be able to receive the signal when it's like that. You can see down there there's some probes. Obviously designed in certain places to be able to pick up the signals. So there's like one at the top here. One in there, and then L-shaped one at the bottom. There we go, you can see those there. Hmm. Well, how peculiar, and this is all like rings of different depths, as you can see there. There we go, you can see a bit better there now, look. Well, how bizarre. So that's obviously designed to to receive those signals. Now, I don't think I'm getting any further, sadly, because that is just a big lump of aluminium. We'll 
looks in here. Anything interesting? Screw, maybe? Making a lovely mess of the mat. It is a screw. It's unscrewing. Is it going to reveal anything? It's like a grub screw. Yeah. Not much in there, just a grub screw. Mm. Not much, not much, not much. I think the only way to get in there is to saw it. But, well, I've kind of seen the main interesting bits, which was what the business end looks like, and that's what that does. So, I guess in there that takes it down to some circuit board, and that's able to convert those signals into some sort of signal that the TV will understand, or your decoder at least, before being changed to a picture that your TV can work out. This is all just sealant. So not as far in as I wanted, but that is, yeah, it's just a block. So I'm gonna have to have a think about that one. If I can get in there, I will. If not, well, at least you've seen a bit more than we normally see. So, uh, is there a lid here? Yeah, there is, there's a lid. Is that gonna come off, do you think? Another screw. Mm. Oh, is it popping? Yes. Get a bit further in. Aha. Uh -huh. So there we go. Yeah, as we thought. I suspect that comes down here. There's the circuit board. Nicely potted, nicely sealed against the elements few chips in there. I don't know how far we can get in any further. They're getting very small, but that looks like it's solid. Yeah, it's quite cool. And there we go, you can see the signal connectors connecting to the board there's even kind of like probably little pathways in there wiggly lines can't see anything else so that's probably it there's something red in there look can you see it wobbling about not quite sure what that was something loose Yeah, it's just floating about. Might be another couple of screws here, actually. Let's have a look. I think it is. I'm gonna need a Phillips or a crosshead for those because they are well in see them in there look that might take the lid off so I will go and look for an appropriate tool and we'll see if we can get in a bit further right I've got these tiny screws off you can see them here Is that four of them oh and this one five I'm expecting some goodies here here we go, you can see they're just tiny ones. And strip all this stuff off, make yet more mess. Can we get the lid off is the question. Yes, all right. There was that weird thing 
What was that all about then? That's weird. That was that was poking through there. Not quite sure what that's all about. And actually, look, there's some. I'm not too sure what they are. They're they're rubbery insulation things. Hmm. One's a little bit corroded. Inside, you can see that was something where this would connect to it, but that's really interesting. There's a lot more in here than I thought. So from just what looks like a piece of aluminium had this funnel bit and then a circuit board here and then a circuit board at the back. So a fair bit in there actually. But I think that's it now. We've opened all the doors. This isn't a door. That's just a cover. No idea what this protruding piece does here. As you can see, there are plenty of surface mount chips. Oh, that was a piece more of the... That was more of the um, rubbery stuff. You can see that just kind of lives on the inside of this case. Yeah. And there's even a seal here, look. Can you see the seal here? So definitely designed for being weatherproof. Yeah, that kind of leads, a couple of pieces in there leads to this, maybe. Hmm. Groovy. So that's what's inside a satellite dish. Thanks for watching. Cheers for now.